Man, what up, y'all? Well, <laughs> it's me, man. Um, in case y'all don't know, if you're watching this video, my name is Manasseh. My name is Manasseh Carthron. A lot of people know me as Stump. A lot of people know me as Stump the Great. Um, I'm doing this video in hopes that this video really helps somebody, man. That it really touch somebody and speak to somebody and administer somebody. Like, I'm really, like, from over here, right? And if you really from up over here and you see this video and you see this face, then you know that when it was time to be outside, I was outside. <laughs> like, outside, outside. Now, with that being said, man, I had the unfortunate chance of being able to, like, really be in and out the jail system almost like my whole life. Um, last time I was up on the foyard, and, uh, man, I saw things that, man, would blow your mind. I saw people from everybody hood. Everybody hood, from Hoover, from Crips, from Bloods, from Hispanics, tall races, all creed. You know what they all had in common on the full yard, most of them? They were never coming home. <laughs> never. Like, just like, let that just like, just sit in for a minute. Like, never. And if that, like, that don't sink in, if you don't really get it, like, I want you to do, I'm going to do yourself a favor. Go to your restroom. Because most of the time, nine times out of ten, you know what I mean? We all ain't got no super big restroom. Your restroom is probably the same size as that cell. <laughs> Sad but true. I got homies right now that's up on the four yard that's probably going to see this video. Like, look at the homie. Yeah? Look at the homie. The homie about to change the world. Yeah? Man, listen, you got to be brave and courageous to do brave, courageous things. Like right now, I'm sitting here in a wheelchair right now on SSI. Don't know how I'm going to do what I'm going to do, but all I know is I got to keep on fighting. I got to keep on fighting and get about this wheelchair. Just like whoever watching this video, you got to keep on fighting. Like, man, it's a fight to stay positive. It's a fight to do the right thing. <laughs> Doing the right thing ain't easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But the real test of a man is a man who does the right thing. Even when you don't think nobody's looking, he still does the right thing. And like I said, I'm not no perfect Christian, and I'm not no holy roller. I'm just a person who God called and is using to speak his word. You know what I mean? Me personally, I know that my life, it's way more easier to wake God than it is without God. I know that when I was places and I didn't have nobody, God was there. <laughs> he was there. Man, I had multiple brain surgeries. I got Arnold Chiari. Arnold Chiari malformation. Go Google that. I ain't scared. <laughs> I got Arnold Chiari. You know, they call us Chiari warriors. You know what I mean? Because, like, to have the, to have the brain condition I have and the disease that I have, man, you got to be tough. You got to be tough. I mean, I ain't no superhero. I ain't no super bad dude. I'm just a regular human being. But God is definitely working on me. And sometimes to work on you, God got to break you down before he builds you up. And when I was able to walk, I wasn't doing the right things. So God set me down. He set me down in a way I never thought he would set me down. But at the same time, he showed me grace because here I am talking to y'all. You know, he didn't take my life. It's some, it's a mama out there. It's a daddy out there. It's a grandma, or auntie, a family member out there somewhere that's trying to talk to y'all. And y'all not listening. And y'all not getting it from them. <laughs> well, I hope that God blesses you to really hear what I'm saying. Game banging is stupid, man. Change your life, man. Change your walk. Like, we need more black doctors. <laughs> we need more black lawyers. We need more black men that's not in the penitentiary. Because if you're not in the penitentiary, then you home to be a father to your son. Man, listen, man. I love my sons. All three of them. I got three boys. And 
I would hate for something to happen to him out in these streets. I would hate for something to happen to him out in these streets. If you gang bang and you got a kid, then you know what I'm talking about, man. This shit ain't cool. Why don't y'all start telling them that this shit ain't cool? It ain't. Man, the big homie quick to give you a pistol. The big homie quick to t tell you to do this. The big homie quick to tell you to do that. The big homie didn't tell your ass to go down there and fill out a job application. It's cool. But listen, man. It's some of y'all right now out there hustling because y'all don't see no other way. I'm just here to tell y'all. There's other ways, man. Man, listen. I'm in this wheelchair right now. And when I say I'm hustling, I'm hustling for I'm hustling from this wheelchair with this phone from my bed. Man, I'm a high school dropout. High school dropout. I dropped out of school to sell dope. Was it right at the time? At the time, I thought it was. You know what I mean? It's the only way I knew. But see, man, God is about to do amazingly great things. Not just in my life, but in other people's lives. You know what I mean? Man, I'm fighting to get about this wheelchair. Like, I'm fighting every day to get about this wheelchair. I got Arnold Chiari. I'm in pain every day. Like, I'm in pain out of this world sometimes. Like, pain I wouldn't even wish on my worst enemy. <laughs> like, but man, I ain't scared. I wasn't scared when I was in L.A. County Jail. I wasn't scared when I was going in and out them core tanks. You know what I mean if you've been in L.A. County Jail? <laughs> I wasn't scared then. I wasn't scared when I was up there on them four yards. But I'll tell you the thing that scares me more than anything is dying and not being right with God. My boy Pete told me, he said, man, I'm ready. Dump, I'm ready. I said, what you mean? He said, man, I'm ready to die. I said, what? Like, okay, bro, like, you tripping. Like, don't be that ready. He like, no, nah, I don't mean it like that. I'm saying, like, if God took me tomorrow, I know where my soul's going. Now, I know I ain't always been no perfect Christian, and I'm, and God is definitely working on me and trying to use me. So, listen, when y'all see me out there, please don't judge me, because I'm not no perfect Christian. But I know one thing, God going to use me. God told me he going to use me to go places where other people can't go. They scared to go. Like them hoods, them projects, them ghettos. Man, listen, I'm here to tell y'all, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, and when y'all see me, just know that I'm trying and I'm working. Like, I'm learning that God won't give you a mission and not give you the tools that you need to complete the mission. Right now, I got the vision. Vision is super clear. I ain't got the money and I ain't got the resources, but I promise you I'm going to get it. Man, it was a video, once again, of me and my wife going around dancing. Not a long video. Video was less than one minute long. And yeah, that's really me. And no, I wasn't faking. I wasn't playing. I worked damn hard for that one minute. Like hard physical therapy, and that wasn't just like one day of physical therapy. So if y'all see that and think that, oh, no, that was hard. That was hard. Life is hard. Man, but you got to fight through that shit. Like right now, man, it's somebody, they on, a, they on the fence of what should they do. And I'm here to tell you, do the right thing. Listen, man, look, I'm not going to keep y'all. I just know one thing. God told me to put out this video because it's going to save somebody's life. All I need y'all to do, if this video helped y'all, you know what I mean? Let me know. Inbox me. Message me. You know what I mean? Just let me know that, hey, Thump, keep doing what you're doing. Or like, hey, appreciate it. Like that video. Man, it's going to be more content to come. And God is doing amazingly great things, man. <laughs> amazingly great things. So I'll speak to y'all soon. I'm going to be putting out more content because, like I said, I'm building a media empire. Oh, yeah, by the way, I want to tell everyone that played my video and shared it out throughout the world, thank you. And for that one social media outlet, you know who you are with your 26 million followers. Man, listen, 
The lady laughed at me. Like the lady laughed at me. She laughed at me. I told her, I said, hey, God told me to tell you to share my video with the world. She said, boy, bye. <laughs> no, he didn't. I said, okay. I'm not going to beg. I'm not going to keep asking you. I'm only going to ask one time. My God ain't a begging God. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a social media empire that's going to be bigger than their little 26 million followers. Right now, I ain't got that many followers. And it ain't me. It's just God. But I know through God, all things is possible. Man, <laughs> I'm going to put out a video of all the different sites that shared the dance video. If y'all ain't seen it, go check it out. I'm just here to tell y'all that God is real. God is great. He's doing amazingly great things in my life. And he's going to do amazingly great things in your life. All you got to do is trust, believe, and pray. Trust, believe, and pray. I'm going to say it again. Trust, believe, and pray. Man, listen, my name is Manasseh Carthline. If you want to know anything else more about me, man, they did an interview. Don't They did an interview. It's on YouTube. Fight Life Fit. Put that in. I should pop up. Click the link. You want to know more about me? That's it. Got any questions? DM me. I'll get back to you. It might be a minute, but I'll get back to you. But God is doing amazingly great things. Man, listen, y'all stay tuned, man, because I'm still fighting. I'm about to get about this wheelchair. I'm about to travel all over the world, help people, heal people. Not when I say heal people, y'all going to see. <laughs> and I know there's somebody out there that's like, man, F that dude. That's cool. F me. But I'll say this. I ain't scared of nothing. Nothing. And that's a piece that I hope that y'all can find, man. So I'll speak to y'all soon. I'm going to be pushing out more content. If this video helped you, like I said, share it. Share it if it helps you. If it didn't, man, I pray that God works on you and touches you in different ways that you receive his word and his vision in a way that he can give it to you in a way that I can't. Man, listen, I'll be in touch. Yeah, that's me. Man, listen, you can't go through all the stuff that I've been through and be scared. Psh, nah. Not being right with God, that's what I'm scared of. Not listening to what he tells you to do, that's what I'm scared of. He just told me to put out this simple message, and that's what I'm doing, man. And for me to sit up here and tell this to y'all, and tell this, it's, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Being brave ain't easy, man. I'll talk to y'all later, man. I'll be in touch.